sure how about now yeah Please you can start it. stuti okay good evening president toastmaster of the day fellow toastmasters and guests welcome to the 199th meeting of the icg toastmasters club i'm stuti gaitonde and today's meeting is a special one indeed I think we can all agree that the concept of evaluation is an omnipresent one. We see it at every stage in our lives, be it in school when our teachers evaluate us or when we're applying to a new job, when the interviewers evaluate us or even when we meet a person for the first time, when we mentally evaluate them to see if they could be a potential friend. in toastmasters the evaluation segment is a most awaited one the beauty of evaluation lies in its synergistic effect to a speaker there is nothing more motivating than receiving a very constructive feedback of their speech to an evaluator there is nothing more fulfilling than motivating and supporting a fellow toastmaster in the words of john quincy adams if your actions inspire others to dream more learn more do more and become more you are a leader in keeping with this is the mission statement of our club the mission of a toastmasters club is to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self confidence and personal growth before we commence i would like to mention the ground rules that we will be following for today's meeting kindly ensure that your cell phones are switched off in case you've logged in from your cell phone please ensure that it's on silent mode kindly mute yourself once you finish speaking Please ensure you are in an area with less noise and less disturbance and one with good internet connectivity. If you suddenly find yourself logged out during the meeting, please do rejoin. Evaluators, kindly rename yourself as per the following name and convention. Evaluator followed by the digit representing your speaking order followed by your name. Example, evaluator 2 Stuti. With this, we are now ready to begin. sit back relax and get ready as we learn motivate as we learn motivate and grow as we dive in, dive in into the wondrous world of evaluation i would now like to hand over to the dynamic president of our club toastmaster neeru thank you so much toastmaster stuti for that wonderful beginning of the meeting and as you have rightly said that evaluation probably is the most important thing at toastmasters in my personal opinion it is basically the mechanism which helps us learn improve and grow so today's meeting as you rightly said a special meeting and believe me if i say that this day this meeting is going to go down in the history of icd toastmasters club in bright golden words and if you ask me the reasons i have not one not two but three reasons to give firstly as tosmasa stuti has said it is our 199th meeting so we are just one step away from completing our double century secondly it is one of its kind because in this meeting we have incorporated a training session and a mock contest on evaluation that's a superb idea because in one meeting there'll be training at the same time the results of the training will be evaluated so i i believe it's one of its kind in goa at least i don't know about the other places as we have many guests from all over the all over india today so maybe somebody has has tried it and thirdly as a president it is the most overwhelming meeting for me now why overwhelming because this entire show 
is going to be run by DTMs. And we have DTM Mukta, who is the present elect district director for the year 2021-22, who has obliged us by taking up the general evaluation role for today's meeting. Thank you so much. Secondly, we have DTM Nikhil Talwe, who is a district a champion from Pawai uh, to Smasis Club Mumbai. And he has obliged us by being the keynote speaker and training us all for the evaluation. Thank you so much for that. Thirdly, we have DTM Raghunanda from our Anaphonte Club, who will be conducting the table topic session for today. Thank you so much for honoring us by taking up this table topic master role with us. And last but not the least, we have our own DTM Umesh, the one and only. And of course, he's the only DTM at ICD Toastmasters Club till date. Now, DTM Umesh, he'll be at the helm of affairs today by taking up the Toastmaster of the Day role for today's meeting. Before I go on to announce and introduce the Toastmaster of the Day, I would like to welcome you all on behalf of my own club to the 199th meeting of ICT Toastmasters Club. We have few guests today. I would like to interact with them, but I think right now I'll hand over to DTM Umesh to carry on the proceedings of the meeting. And in between, when we have the breaks, I would like to interact with the guests. Now, introduction of the Toastmaster of the day, DTM Omish. He is a superb friend. He is a very good guide, but you all have to be very, very careful when he's around you. Because if you spend 10 minutes with him, five minutes will be spent laughing and the next five minutes, you don't know which secrets he will get out of you. And then you will be bound with him as best friends forever because he has your secrets with you. Now, another thing uh, to introduce him, I have one of his own lines, his dedication and love towards Toastmasters is clearly shows in his own statement where he says that he wants to change every person he meets into a Toastmaster. So over to you, DTO Umesh, please carry on to this fabulous, fabulous meeting of today. Thank you so much, Neeru. Thank you so much for those warm words. I hope I can live up to your expectations and to the expectations of the other members as well. When I was a little boy, Neeru, I used to act in plays. And uh, these were Tamil plays, and I was not very good in Tamil. But because I was just a group of friends, they used to pull me to take part in small roles in the Tamil plays. And most of the times, I would include English words. And I lived in a colony, a Reserve Bank colony, where all the parents used to come and watch us doing these plays and enacting these plays. And my mother used to come and watch these plays. My dad would never come. He would never come and watch me enact or to play a role. So I remember playing the role for the first time. I was a very young schoolboy. And uh, after the play, I asked my mother, what do you think about my role? So she was telling me, I was just hoping that you would finish your role so that I wouldn't be embarrassed. I wouldn't have to be a laugh laughing stock amidst the rest of the people around me. Imagine if we gave an evaluation today like this. Had she motivated me at that point of time, maybe I would have been a Shah Rukh Khan by now. That is why evaluation to motivate is the most important thing you can do as a Toastmaster. Not only as a Toastmaster, but in every walk of life, if you can evaluate a person to motivate, I'm sure the world would be a better place to live in. 
it's not alone about motivating it's also about listening skills when you do an evaluation it's also about thinking how good another person can be in life most of the time we are critical of people most of the time we are critical of governments most of the time we are critical of politicians but only if we could evaluate everyone just to motivate that person that would be fantastic today is going to be a special meeting we have an experienced toastmaster dtm nikhil salvi in our midst who's a district champion of evaluation he's been also a district champion in the humorous speech contest at the district level before i call him over i wish to tell the guests here this is not like a usual toastmaster meeting a usual toastmaster meeting would have three segments a prepared speech segment a table topic segment and an evaluation segment but today it's going to be different you're going to enjoy the show and you will probably ask us more questions can i ask our single role player dt uh, toastmaster navin to explain the role of a timer thank you toastmaster bidi dt mumesh and also fellow toastmasters and dear guests today the role of the timer is a bit different we have a, unlike a regular meeting we have a keynote speech of 15 minutes that i would highlight uh, through my screen uh, there's a change in the screen the screen will change from gray to green green to yellow and to red i will tell the timings for the 15 minute speech it is from 13 15 and by uh, 13 14 and by 15 i will close by the red uh, red screen will come up and today we have a very interesting uh, speech contest it is an evaluation contest so we have the test speaker who will be coming to speak for 5 to 7 minute speech so the the green screen will come at 5 minutes the yellow screen at 6 minutes and the red screen by around 7 minutes and it will stay for some time till the speech is over and the, for the evaluation contestants please note the first initial screen will be gray till the time reaches 2 minutes then the screen will turn green goes to yellow by two and a half minutes and by three minutes it turns red so please spotlight this video and uh, have a look at it i cannot show the screen now because it's an automatic timer and you will see it during the keynote speaker and i would wish all the best to everyone thank you thank you so much navin i just have to give you a small clarification uh nikhil will speak for 15 to 20 minutes okay. so you can have your qualifying time as 15 and maybe 18 as the uh, the yellow light and 20 minutes for the red light yeah. and then he gets another 5 to 10 minutes for the question and answer se- segment sure. so this is something that we are looking forward to because nikhil is an experienced uh, toastmaster and i would li- also like to add the table topic speakers which i missed yes 1 to 2 minutes One minute green, one and a half minutes the yellow, and two minutes the red. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Naveen. My speaker today, or my trainer today, is a very experienced Toastmaster, and I'm only going to tell you about his Toastmaster journey because that's what is more interesting. I have never seen a guy so unassuming as Nikhil Salvi as a Toastmaster. Most Toastmasters I have seen. are pretty loud like me pretty open in their views like me but nikhil salvi is one person who will listen to you who's most polite and soft as well and it's a real task to listen to him he's been a toastmaster for almost a decade he has held several positions in the district he's been a champion in the evaluation segment as evaluation contest as well as the humorous contest and presently the president of the povitos masters club he is basically a finance guy a senior manager with alanka and he has been an expert in the capital markets so very soon i'll be contacting him 
to get to know a little more about the stock market. So I would say one of those Toastmasters whom I'm always eager to listen to, and I'm sure the entire fraternity here will get to know a lot about evaluation and the different techniques of evaluation through DTM Nikhil Salvi. So over to you, Nikhil. Thank you so much, uh, DTM Omesh, for a wonderful introduction. Uh, before I proceed, uh, may I just confirm if you are able to hear me clearly? Yes, Nikhil. Great. Uh, thank you so much, uh, DTM Omesh, once again. A very good evening to all the Toastmasters and guests present here. A uh, special good evening to uh, District Director-Elect, uh, DTM Mukta, who is here. Thank you. Uh, DTM Umesh once again for inviting me to this meeting and for arranging this special session. And I will try my best to share my experiences and my views on uh, evaluation. And hopefully that will help all the members uh, in their understanding of evaluation as well as help them become better evaluators. Right. In terms of this session, in the given time allotted, I would like to keep it simple in terms of understanding evaluation and specifically the difference between evaluation and feedback. Secondly, how in Toastmasters we can prepare for delivering an effective evaluation. And the preparation starts from understanding the speech objectives in the first place. How to observe better so as to understand the speech well. And lastly, how to deliver a nice evaluation that the speaker will feel good about after listening to and will be encouraged to make changes or improvements as you suggest. Is this outline broadly fine with all the participants? Okay. Any upfront questions do you have? Any points you would like to cover, uh, like me to cover in the session before we proceed? So I can try and incorporate them in the flow. I would like to ask any specific difficulties or challenges that the you know, participants today in the session uh, that you have come across. And please feel free to uh, say what is on your mind, because we have all been Toastmasters, we are Toastmasters, so I have been there where uh, some of the existing members are. Yes, yes, somebody is. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, this is Toastmaster Akshay here. Yeah. See, Hi, actually, I am, yeah, I am 100% visually impaired, but still, although I am 100% visually impaired, I am trying to evaluate uh, the speakers, but the thing what happens is that the the, the this gestures which they are uh, delivering uh, they are using so that I am not be able to because I am I can't see right so for them for the when it comes to gestures so what I have to uh, do for that uh, do you have any uh, take on this yeah hi Akshay I think uh, we have interacted before when you once uh, visited uh, for White House Masters uh, club meeting so hi yes. nice to nice to meet you again. Um, in this specific instance, I would not be too worried about uh, the gestures. Gestures are just one part of an Toastmasters uh, speech and one aspect of the delivery. I'm sure there is plenty that you can uh, understand by simply listening to the speaker, not only in terms of content, but the state of mind of the speaker, as well as how the speaker has delivered and so on. I'm sure you will be able to uh, deliver meaningful evaluations uh, even uh, if you are not able to uh, see the speaker. With respect to gestures, uh, if the speaker wishes, the speaker can take feedback from someone else, uh, specifically from the visual aspect of the speech. So my suggestion to you is to not too much worry about the gesture part and rather okay. try and see uh, how best you can give feedback to the speaker from the point of view of the speech. And what you hear? Uh, and, yeah, and second thing. Now, if if I if I only for the contest, no, if I am a contestant of uh, evaluation contest, 
so if i uh, uh, for the speaker the test speaker for uh, same thing uh, i have to apply for the contest also right uh yeah so specifically to the contest let me answer this question later on uh let me first uh, take the session on the evaluation aspect and then we may move to the contest and relate and answer any queries related to the contest including yours if that's fine okay great any other points or any other questions before we start with the plan that i have in mind hello yes uh, hi nikhil toastmaster purva here yeah hi purva yeah basically i had doubts regarding the number of recommendations and commendations that we give in our evaluation sometimes what happens that i have a huge list of recommendations as well as commendations and i don't finish up in time so i'll go till 4 minutes sometimes it, it happened that i crossed 4 minutes 30 seconds as well during my initial days now i generally finished by 3 minutes 35 seconds but still i'm very confused regarding how long should i talk about a particular commendation recommendation and also i think basically the problem lies uh, because i'm not concise about the words so how how can we uh, use those concise words and what all parameters should i basically focus on how could i prioritize the commendations and recommendations sure i will try and answer that uh, query as part of my uh, thoughts on constructing the evaluation and if i have not answered your question by the end of the session please feel free to disturb me again and uh, ask this question again and i will try and answer it specifically yeah hi uh, nikhil this is clyde here i have uh, one question how do you uh, if at all you have to prepare uh, for an evaluation before the speech is given so how do you prepare and uh, secondly when you are preparing your evaluation after you've taken notes is there a certain way that you prepare or a certain flow that you go into uh, when you prepare your speech if you could share that from your experience uh, sure like i will try and share my thoughts on how i do it or how how what is my preference and you can feel free to pick and choose whether that suits uh, your style or Uh, at least it will give you pointers in terms of how you can try and do that uh, with what you are comfortable with. But I'll answer that as well during the session. Is that fine? Great. Uh, shall we start? So the first thing I mentioned, which may have raised a few eyebrows, especially among experienced Toastmasters, is that I said that there are there are two different things. One is evaluation and second is feedback generally we try to mix up both but in my experience if you understand these two different aspects it will help us improve our understanding of what is evaluation in toastmasters and how to go about it simply speaking when i started in toastmasters my understanding of evaluation was as an evaluator i listen to the speaker i observe what the speaker is doing on the stage i take notes i compare my observations with what the objectives of the speech are and i go and give my opinion on what the speaker did well and what the speaker can do better does this sound simple enough okay anybody disagrees with this whole process or does this sound like a very general approach to delivering evaluations okay uh from the are you able to hear me better now yeah yes uh so there are uh, several members who have their videos on and i can see their reactions to others if you are feeling shy of uh, putting your videos on uh, feel free to at least uh, post your messages on whether you understand the concept or no otherwise uh, don't worry about uh, how you appear this is not a beauty contest this is a learning session i don't look to great at the end of the day either 
but i would love to you know see uh, all of you great thank you so much for putting your videos on coming back to the point my understanding of the evaluation part was that we listen to the speaker take notes prepare an evaluation the script go on stage and deliver and hopefully the speaker will find it useful and the icing will be cake icing on the cake will be you get a best evaluator ribbon for the meeting over the years as i have delivered more and more evaluations listen to other evaluators participated in contest i have at my end realized that actually there are two separate things happening during an evaluation process one is that we are evaluating which means we are observing the speaker speech trying to understand what is it that the speaker is trying to convey in the speaker's own style with his uses usage of words vocal variety gestures expressions stage movement and so on and so forth we also get a sense of how effective the speaker can is with respect to what he or she is trying to convey we as evaluators need to always assess the speech from the point of view of the objectives and then form our analysis of what happened during the speaker speech what was its effect on you as an evaluator and then deliver that assessment when your turn comes to speak during that assessment if you have some suggestions for where can the speaker improve if you felt the speaker felt short at certain levels you could deliver that with the best of intentions thinking that yes the speaker would take this uh, take these suggestions and improve upon them now in this process the evaluation aspect is actually a very objective aspect which means you are observing and analyzing and forming opinion and you can actually do that irrespective of whether you are an evaluator in the meeting or no many experienced toastmasters will agree that over the years they would have developed a habit of just generally observing very carefully what is happening in the meeting and they start to notice little things that others may miss these little things about the speech especially are very invaluable for us becoming a good evaluator and they are indispensable when actually we are attempting an evaluation contest because those little things and observations and the depth of your understanding of the speaker's speech will set you apart from the rest of the contestants okay the second part of the evaluation is the feedback now this is where we have to be careful the feedback is our opinion of the speaker's speech hence let's not try to generalize this aspect let's not speak on behalf of everyone use specific phrases that can convey to the audience and to the speaker that is your opinion and we have to be careful while giving this opinion or feedback so as to achieve the aim of motivating the speaker to improve and not discourage the speaker in any manner okay so these two things if we even recognize or be cognizant that these are two separate things we can try and improve on both of them separately in terms of how to evaluate better and how to give feedback better this will come over practice with practice uh, you know a lot of uh, meetings attended observations of other speakers etc but it is possible to start to appreciate the differences between the two and improve on both aspects separately let's first look at how to evaluate better 
in that aspect what i'm uh, referring to is objective assessment of what the speaker speech was how can we do that better is by preparing for the evaluation how do we prepare for the evaluation in the regular meetings try to get to know what uh, which speech project are you evaluating the earlier in the week you understand or get to know which speech project are you evaluating the better it is absolutely all right to be after the vp education or whoever is setting the meeting to let them know as early as possible whose speech are you evaluating okay don't wait for the agenda only to come out and then you find out uh try to find out as early as possible try to understand which path which level and which project are you going to evaluate thankfully in pathways the objectives of all speeches are available so you can at least read through the objectives if you have attempted that project earlier even better so that you are more familiar if not try to get your hands on the actual speech description the one that speaker is supposed to read and have your own understanding of what is this speech about if you don't understand the objective clearly and that can happen even with experienced toastmasters do please do not hesitate to reach out to somebody else and ask them what is this speech about i am going to evaluate this speech this part i think uh, from my experience i think very few people do that is reading the objectives in advance try to understand them and if it's not clear take the pains to ask somebody else what is this speech objective about okay uh, then uh, on the day of the speech it is actually okay to ask the speaker before the meeting if he or she wants you to observe something specific okay you never know the speaker may point something out and that can help you in your evaluation later on and because you have asked the speaker in advance and if the speaker tells you something and you specifically comment on it chances are the speaker will be more receptive to your entire evaluation do you get what is happening here you are already establishing a brief connection with the speaker the speaker when he or she finds out or gets a call from you or a message from you asking what is it something if there is something specific you would like me to observe subconsciously at least the speaker feels that this is a serious evaluator okay he is he or she is taking trouble to ask me uh, what is it that he or she needs to observe which means this person is uh, it cares about his job and is likely to pay attention to what i am trying to do right uh, another thing that i have tried to practice in terms of preparing for the evaluation is that before the speech starts try to blank out your mind of all the previous thoughts that you already may have there may be a lot of other things that may be happening with office work with personal stuff etc uh, before actually a toastmasters meeting itself if you can just forget about everything else and just pay full for attention to the meeting nothing like it if not the whole meeting then at least before the evaluation try and just forget everything else the next 5 to 7 minutes or whatever time the speaker is going to speak please prepare yourself to pay full attention to what the speaker is trying to convey is this clear so far in terms of preparation yeah are these things doable or do they sound very difficult and challenging doable okay uh thanks umesh umesh is a fellow toastmaster so i think he will agree to many things that i say but i would love to hear from the other participants if you disagree with me if you feel that this this is too taxing 
just attending a meeting on time at the start itself is challenging so where am i going to get the time to go through the speech objectives or speak with the speaker and so on so my uh, personal experience is that it may seem challenging at first but as you do it once twice you can do it efficiently without really consuming too much of time and if you do that just think how prepared you will feel just going into the evaluation okay now uh when the speaker starts speaking my habit used to be earlier to start taking notes okay over a period of time i have learned to observe the speaker more and try to understand what is it that the speaker is trying to convey rather than be in a hurry to fill up pages after pages after pages of notes on everything from the content to the phrases to the gestures and so on and so forth what i would uh, recommend is that for every 1 minute of speech you can allow yourself to just take some key points or key notes okay so that by the end of the speech you have some 5 6 7 points that you observed and uh, you don't have to then fully rely on your memory to give the evaluation uh you have some points to go by and if you have paid good attention when you look back at those points you will recollect what is it that the speaker conveyed okay so there is a fair balance between when you are observing the speaker and taking notes as well fair uh when you are observing the speaker and taking notes uh, if you have blanked out your mind you will try and understand what the speaker is trying to do and convey and not overlay what the speaker is saying with your own thoughts but what i mean by that is that if the speaker is speaking on a topic like everybody should go vegetarian and if you are a hardcore non vegetarian chances are you will feel emotional about the topic uh however if you have blanked out your mind and if you are observing what the speaker is saying you will evaluate the speech which means you will understand that look the speaker is trying to convey a point of why everybody should go you know vegan or vegetarian and let's see how effectively the speaker tries to do that without overlaying your own thoughts on what the speaker is conveying does that make sense yes no right so if you uh, do that throughout the speech you will observe the speaker take notes after the speech is over then actually then at that time you can start analyzing it from the point of view of objectives what were the objectives what to what extent did the speaker meet these objectives where is it that the speaker fell short in your opinion and then you can think of are there any ways i can help the speaker improve on these aspects with specific suggestions okay there was a question earlier as to how many recommendations as well as good points do i need to describe now if you follow this sort of approach you will not have more than 6 7 points okay if you are observing as well as noting down if you have noted a lot of points that's fine make a choice as to which are the top 3 or 4 good recommendations good uh, good recommendations or very strong points relatively speaking and what are the two or three areas of improvement if a speaker has several areas of improvement avoid the temptation to list out all of them make a choice do only two or three the rest you can convey to the speaker one to one after the meeting okay once you do this you have a nice structure with specific commendation points specific recommendation it becomes so much easier 
to go and deliver the speech sorry go and deliver the evaluation in terms of uh, contest especially what i tried to used to do is that while i had these points i would start my evaluation in some manner that i would try to convey to the speaker i have understood your speech okay how to do it depends on the speech itself what the main point was etc but the first one two sentences if they capture the essence of the speech and you can are able to convey that you have understood this as the essence of the speech it sort of helps set the foundation for the rest of your evaluation then you can deliver your uh, analysis of or evaluation of the speech when it comes to commendations you can deliver them as per your normal style with respect to recommendations i would just suggest you exercise little bit of caution not only in terms of choice of words how you describe that recommendation but also the tone with which you are conveying that recommendation i'll give you one simple example in my early days as an evaluator i was evaluating project 2 in the old manual the speaker was a good speaker he had made a good impression in project 1 or his ice breaker and as his project 2 evaluator i was expecting a lot the speaker delivered a normal speech it was not too bad not too great either but i was disappointed while the text of my speech the literal words did not indicate anything wrong my tone reflected disappointment the speaker picked up on that and did not show up at our club's meeting hence that thereafter okay so while all of you will remember me as uh, you know district uh, evaluation champion i remember those instances where even so much something like an intonation of my speech caused a lot of damage and i don't know whether that person joined some other club or no but i remember you know uh, that this happened which is why i am always trying to be uh, more on the formal side exercise abundant caution and try to make sure that when i am especially conveying recommendations i have sort of softer demeanor slower pace and show as if i am i care about the speaker so that is about conveying the delivering the feedback of the speech these two things are sort of uh, they go hand in hand the first part which is evaluation which is objective assessment of the speech second is the feedback or delivery of your analysis if you keep things simple within these two you know, pillars i think you will overall be able to do well as an evaluator not only in your normal speeches but as well as in your uh, in evaluation contest so in the i think the red card is already flashing for quite some time so let me try and not uh, stretch this too much uh i hope i have answered the questions that were raised at the start if there are some specific further questions or if i have not answered any of the earlier raised points please feel free to let me know and i'll be happy to take them now i uh, detain nikhil It's, yeah uh, just call me nikhil don't Shall call me dtm i feel like it is somebody else whom you are addressing okay i have one very specific question you know yeah. when you are evaluating right. how much of a evaluation should be for the crowd and how much should it be for the evaluate for the speech you know in terms of gestures and yeah. uh that's a very good question my personal answer i always evaluate uh, for the speaker including the contest 
even in the district finals that i won i had did i had kept it in my mind that uh, although this is a contest i will try to deliver an evaluation that is useful to the test speaker irrespective of whatever happens to the result okay uh that's my way of thinking yeah i right. agree uh, nikhil uh, my question nikhil to you is most most evaluators suggest if i were you i would have done this i would have probably given this content probably used this gestures what is your opinion so you you are asking if this is correct or incorrect yes i would like to know whether it's right do you evaluate his speech or do you want him to do the way you want it to be uh my view on this is that it is to an extent okay to say that if i were in your place i would have done this because you are not forcing the speaker to do something saying that if i were you i would have done this but i it is implied that uh, i am not you so if you want to do it some different way that's fine uh, i would avoid uh, overdoing this style of recommendation maybe in that three four or two three recommendations once you can say this for others you can do try and do something else otherwise you will end up bringing the focus on yourself if i were you i would do this if i were you i would do this the focus should always be on the speaker and what the speaker did well or not so if used in moderation this style i am okay with uh the, as long as it is effective that's fine okay we have time for one last question anybody would okay uh um, nikhil this is sharmila here yeah hi sharmila hi so just wanted to uh, confirm with you that and this is also for the other new evaluators that we have in our midst us that an evaluation should not be so much about the content of the speaker than to do with aspects of the speech am i right in that um uh, as so in my, yeah uh, yeah Yeah, sorry, you were you were you were uh, adding. No, I was just words. explaining myself. I mean, uh, if a speech is given on a certain topic, are we as an evaluator allowed to uh, tell them that uh, uh, you should have mentioned this too in the speech? You should have brought about this aspect in the speech too. Is that uh, ideal, or should not be done? Uh, the way I would answer this is that it depends on the speech. Okay. What is it that the speaker is trying to convey? all right if there were some very glaring omissions okay in the content which okay. should have been there okay it is okay to point it them up point them out okay saying you know this i was expecting this addition and i think I most see. most people may have been okay okay however uh, i would avoid taking position on mm. the content that the speaker mm. has delivered correct simple example is uh, if the speaker is giving a project on researching and presenting mm. and is giving lots of stats on why mm. vegetarian uh, diet is good for you mm. but if the speaker did not convey any sources of the research okay. right okay there is an article on article in nature magazine or lancet okay. etc okay okay then it is fair to say that quoting sources where you got this research from adds more credibility yeah. and you should consider doing that yeah. but i would avoid taking position on this vegetarianism uh, true true yeah you shouldn't do that yeah I this is something which the evaluators we've got a lot of new uh, newcomers newbies in our club so this is something that they should be aware of as such your own personal uh, approach i don't think i as in like if the speech is on how vegetarianism is more important or vegan style is more important you cannot as an evaluator say no but i feel that uh, you should have spoken more on non vegetarian food that i think should not be done yeah. right yes absolutely and uh, no, apologies for bringing up the diet in front of a goan crowd 
you can you can replace it with uh, doing yoga versus aerobics or doing weight lifting versus we, we got the we got the message yeah. to okay yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Nikhil. Thank you so much. Uh, Most welcome. Thank you so much, Nikhil, for not only presenting uh, the evaluation style of yours, but also for taking away a lot of your time to be amidst us. And uh, I'm sure that uh, our evaluators, our Toastmasters, will take home a lot of tips from you. I myself, I'm learning the Nikhil way of uh, of being a Toastmaster, and uh, I'm trying my best. Believe me. So thank you so much, Nikhil. Can we have a round of applause from everybody here for Nikhil's training program on evaluation, evaluation to motivate? So thank you very much, Nikhil. Uh, Nikhil, I would like, uh, would most, uh, I would be happy if you stay on for the next part as well, which is a mock contest. We are going to have on similar lines as a internationally uh, in as an evaluation contest. So we would be happy if you could uh, be there for the next fifteen minutes or so. Yeah. Uh, so first of all, uh, Umesh, thank you so much for inviting me, and uh, thank you to the club for uh, arranging this and for giving me this opportunity. Uh, I hope the session was useful. And yes. Actually, I would uh, love some uh, feedback on the session itself. So please feel free to uh, let me know or maybe convey it through Umesh. uh as much as i would love to stay uh you mentioned that i was a financial markets professional <laughs> and we work long hours so i have borrowed some time from okay. my regular work and uh, i may need to get back to that sure but uh some other time i would uh, attend a regular meeting and sure. be part of that thank I you so much nikhil okay. and uh, yeah and nikhil, uh, on I behalf was... sorry, yeah sorry sorry on behalf yeah, of the entire club uh, we thank you for being here on our 199th meeting and would like to uh, extend our welcome for the 200th meeting and we will Thank invite you. you personally as well Thank you so yes, much Yes uh, Neeru Yeah I wanted to say the same thing which you have already said that thank okay. you so much for taking our time for us it was an honor to have you with us and the uh, invitation for 200th meeting which is next month uh, 24th of this month and uh, I'll extend you the invitation for that please join in for that Thank you, thank so, you much so much for uh, thanks for in, uh, extending the invitation i'll try my best and uh, congratulations in advance to the club for thanks. this uh, wonderful thanks last run thank you thank so you. much nikhil and uh, have a nice evening thank you you too thank you thank we you. are going on to the next segment which is the mock contest it was uh, uh, the excom of of the club which decided that uh, we should have a contest so that young evaluators could compete among themselves and also get a feel of an evaluation contest so what we're going to do today is we have nine evaluators as contestants so i would request neeru to take the nine contestants away to a breakaway room huh? so they have that... to hear the speech first no yeah correct okay so i'm sorry so <laughs> the nine contestants are to be taken to a breakaway room later on so the first thing that we will do is ask the chief judge gajanan gajanan do we have all the judges there in the room and have you apprised the judges of the contest uh, one second umesh gajanan is on in the breakout room so we'll just have to get them back yep yeah give us one minute yeah by the time gajanan gets back it's uh, for the benefit of those guests who are here there will be a test speaker who will develop who will de deliver a speech i'm not going to reveal the name of the test speaker as yet he or she will deliver a speech and each of these evaluators will evaluate the speech the same speech after one by one after the other and the judges in the room will judge the evaluations that are being done by the evaluators so they are judging the evaluators and not the speaker so am i clear on that and as navin explain, explained the test speaker will speak for 5 to 7 minutes 5 minutes will be the green card 6 minutes will be the yellow card 
and seventh minute will be the red card. And for the evaluators, it will be one to three minutes, one, the green card, two, no, the no, yellow Umesh, card. Umesh, sorry, two yeah. to three minutes. Uh, two to three minutes. So yeah. two is the green card, uh, two and a half minutes is the yellow card, and three minutes for the red card. And the evaluator gets another 30 seconds as grace, grace time. But the red card will remain. There will be no indication of what time the evaluate has gone beyond the three minutes. So uh, is Gajanan in the room? Yes, Umesh. Gajanan, as chief judge, have you explained the rules to the judges, the silent, the, the invisible judges in the room? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Everything okay. has been shared. Okay. I'm going to read out the names of the evaluators as per the sequence that has already been decided. So the first evaluator is Toastmaster Shantanu Umesh. The second evaluator is Tuti Gaitonde. The third evaluator is Aditi. The fourth evaluator is Vishwesh. The fifth evaluator is Tanya. The sixth is Gayatri. Seventh is Nelly. Eighth is Puja. And ninth is Kavya. Let me repeat in order. Evaluator number one is Shantanu. Evaluator number two is Tuti. Evaluator number three is Aditi. Evaluator number four is Vishwesh. Evaluator number five is Tanya. Evaluator number six is Gayatri. Evaluator number seven is Nelly. Evaluator number eight is Puja. And evaluator nine is Kavya. Clear? Have the judges got, I suppose I don't have to ask for the judges, but uh, I hope they've got the sequence right. Some of you are not judges also can evaluate or judge the contest. And you could probably later on decide who was the best evaluator because we are going to uh, announce the results from the judges point of view. Okay. My test speaker today is a passionate Toastmaster. This person is a very young Toastmaster. But when you listen to the person, you believe she is a veteran Toastmaster because she's got that maturity in her, not only in her speech, but in several ways. She delivers all that a passionate Toastmaster would. My test speaker today is Vishwaja from the ICG Toastmasters Club. So can we have the spotlight on Vishwaja? Vishwaja is delivering a five to seven minute speech. The title of her speech is The Snail's Way. The Snail's Way, Vishwaja. Am I audible? Visible? Yes. I want a vacation. I said to my parents with more frustration than enthusiasm. Three and a half years of engineering, 40 subjects, seven semesters, and the placements had left me exhausted. I needed a break. Okay, where do you want to go? That's my mom. Some place calm and rejuvenating. I said, thinking about Switzerland. Let's take you to Humpy then, exclaimed my mom in response. I had no choice but to oblige. I did not foresee that this trip would bring with it one memory that I would preserve forever. Fellow travelers, good evening. Sit back, hold tight and enjoy this Memory right. Humpy was an eight hour journey. 
We started early in the morning and reached by four. That day, we could only see the stone chariot. The boulders and the magnificent structures were a good start to my journey, but it did not match my expectations of an ideal vacation. Quick fact about me. Before any trip, I do my research. Research on mostly two things. One, where can I get food to relish? And two, where can I click pictures to cherish? On Instagram, I had seen this phenomenal sunrise point, which left me bright eyed and bushy tailed. I wanted to take a picture exactly like that. Naturally, I asked the tourist guy, and he said, Madam, I would take you to a place better than that. But for that, you have to get up early in the morning, travel for an hour, and then climb 750 steps. Hearing this, my parents were apprehensive. But all the photographers in this room would agree. Once we set our eyes, rather our lens, on something, there is no turning back. The next morning, we got up at four. It was a cold winter morning and we had to travel in a rickshaw. It took about an hour to reach that place. The place we were visiting was known to be the birthplace of Lord Hanuman and it had a temple there. And now the only thing left to do was to climb those 750 stairs. To be honest, at this point, I felt like Tenzing Norge, ready to climb Mount Everest. The first 200 steps were a piece of cake. I was like a supersonic jet going towards my target at an unimaginable speed. That speed hit the rock bottom the moment I took my 250th step. Panting, I caused myself for thinking so highly of me. The Tenzing Norge and me now wanted to go back to the hotel room and sleep. With each step, my breath became heavy and my legs started shivering. The more I climbed, the difficult it got. Halfway through the journey, I wanted to just give up. But now I could not muster up the courage to tell my parents that. And my parents had an expression which said, when we wanted you to reach the top of the world, it was metaphorical. So I continued. One step at a time, one breath. At a time. And finally, crawling like the snail, we reached the peak. It wasn't sunrise yet. So we visited the temple. I set my camera and we waited. We waited patiently. And finally, the sun rose. Initially, it was red, then slightly orange with a tinge of pink. It was so hopeful, so calm. From that point, I could see the entire town. I could hear my heartbeats loud and clear. Lub dub. Lub dub. It was that peaceful. It was truly spiritual. And in that moment, it struck me. In this fast moving world, we want quick success. Love happens at the speed of light. Everything is a click away. Every checkbox you want to tick away. In this fast moving world, happiness is fragile. It's based on immediate gratification. Fellow travelers, dreams cannot be achieved overnight and relationships 
are not built in a day. They're a summation of consistent efforts. Efforts we put to outwit our hurdles. Efforts we put to overcome our inner self-doubt. Destination is beautiful, but we can truly admire its beauty only after a consistent struggle. That is when we can say, slow and steady wins the race. Fellow travelers, just like me, take one step at a time. Go the snail's way. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vishwaja. Can we have a round of applause for the test speaker? And uh, can we ask the Sergeant at Arms to escort all the nine evaluators to the breakout room where they will be given five minutes to make notes and prepare themselves for the evaluation. So please tell me when everybody is inside the breakaway room. Naveen, will you start timing the five minutes once they are inside the breakaway room? Yes, Mish. Okay. So can we start the timing now? Yeah. Okay. The timing is on for five minutes and... Uh, can we use the time to ask a few questions to the guests? Is there anybody who is not a Toastmaster and is a guest here? Can we identify somebody? There's somebody who has named himself or herself as guest. Okay. So that I'm sure. Can, is the, a... can the guest reveal his identity? Also, there's somebody. Oh, okay, that's Toastmaster. There's a Mansi Ayer. Is she a Toastmaster? Mansi, are you a Toastmaster? She's on two devices, I think. Yes, yes, I'm yes. a Toastmaster. Mansi, uh, even if you are a Toastmaster, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm from Margao Toastmasters Club. Okay. Mansi, you have to actually, mute one of your one of them. You have to mute. Yeah, that's why it is echoing. Please mute yeah, one of your devices. If you have muted one of the devices, please go are ahead. Are you and able introduce. to hear me now? It's clear. Yeah, so I'm from Margao Toastmasters Club. Okay, and. Uh, uh, where did you get to know about our meeting? Uh, Gajana invited me for it. Okay. And what is your impression about the evaluation segment, evaluation training program? I really love the segment. Actually, the ICT Toastmasters Club is conducted really well. I'm having a little bit network issue. That's why I'm not going to talk much. Okay. Thank you, Mansi. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. And uh, please enjoy the session. Can we have Balbir say a few words? I know Balbir personally. So can we have Balbir introduce himself? Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Balbir Singh Man from Powai Toastmasters Club. I have been invited by Umesh. And I have really enjoyed the session, the proceedings till now. And the evaluation, uh, very, I considered it as a difficult because for two years I avoided that. And once I have to get hang of it, I have, I have done quite a few number of evaluations. And I put in some, I, I put in some passionate work whenever I do something. Uh, Umesh knows about it. 
but the crowd is really good the numbers is very high umesh uh, 30 plus numbers i will say congratulations and for the best wishes for the 200 meeting and further onwards thank you we would like to welcome you for the 200th meeting balbir which is on june 24th and it would be it would be nice if you would be there because i know you are a passionate toastmaster and your very presence will will motivate the club to greater heights so thank you very much balbi uh, are there any more guests there's some purva halke okay purva can we see you yeah uh, just one thing i had to say it's purva hulke hulke ah, okay okay yeah where are you from which state are you from purva i'm from maharashtra and okay. actually i belong to sihagar toastmasters club of pune okay and i'm currently in nagpur because okay. of covid and okay. actually i came to know about this meeting through the whatsapp group okay. and when i first joined i saw there that there are a very senior toastmasters here dtm and i was very scared to even speak and like turn on my video but then i heard uh, tmod umesh as well speak so uh, a friendly and the i mean the atmosphere was very cool and uh, calm and friendly so i decided to jump in and uh, show my face as well as talk something so yeah the and the session that uh, toastmaster uh, dtm nikhil had conducted was also awesome i learned a lot i made my notes as well and i'm looking forward to the contest that will be happening right now here i'm very excited thank you so much purva it's always a pleasure to be a part of any meeting in any part of the world i can assure you that if you went for a meeting in say in the gulf or in the uk and you can do it now because of uh, it's almost online meetings now you will see the warmth in, in the club and in the excom of the club so it's not uh, it, you shouldn't be surprised about this so you're always welcome for the icg meetings and you can of course join us for our 200th meeting on june 24 both a special invite goes to purva from our yeah. side we any more guests there. it's we almost there yeah yeah so the green light is on so you finished 5 minutes i think we could call these people yeah so let me call upon the the first contestant toastmaster shantanu Yeah. Uh, am I audible and visible? Yes. Okay. Um. You can start, Shantanu. The first con- contestant, Shantanu Umesh. Okay. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I think we need to have a round of applause for our Toastmaster Vishwajit, who's delivered such an impeccable speech that, in a way, more than a speech, I felt like I was watching a movie, just wanting for more. So, just a few points. The beginning of the speech made me feel that I was in that vacation, in times of this pandemic, where just a vacation is something that we so desperately need. Your speech just hit my heart. It really made me feel those. sweet moments when i'd ask my parents i want to go there i want to go there and the way you've delivered it so well that composure that you've so that you've shown throughout the speech is beautiful your engagement with the audience was without a doubt the highlight of the speech especially that part when you came a bit closer to the camera as if confiding a secret to us and i won't lie i literally did the same pushed my ear a bit closer to see what exactly you wanted the calm and the calm composure that you've shown throughout your speech is a perfect metaphor of what you want to deliver through your title i really think that it's been the snail's way the snail's way is the metaphor that i'm talking about especially the way throughout the meeting the throughout the speech that despite the fact of uh, the of the topic i wanted more i was waiting for what's the next what's the next part of the speech going to be it was a very slow transition right from begging your parents from what you wanted right till the end of the speech one step at a time 
that motivational quote that you've used and that one breath at a breath at a breath at a time is really such a beautiful aspect the perfect voice modulation you used especially when you said when you were climbing those rocks right to the top i knew from the beginning that you would reach the top but yet it was the way you spoke the way you delivered your speech that me that really scared me within me whether she'd actually reach the top a few pointers that i would like to point out that could help you improve your speech i would like a bit more movements for example i think movements would really improve your speech despite the name of the speech being being the snail's way i think we can go a bit opposite to that and maybe show a bit more movement perhaps some this is <clears throat> in certain areas the expressions according to me were a bit could could have been improved upon a bit more especially when moving from one scene to another especially showing that yes this is what what i want to do or that's what i want to do all in all i really believe this was a really beautiful speech and i hope you take these points into consideration for your next speech thank you thank you very much uh, shantanu can we have one minute silence for the judges to mark the ballots and can we have the second contestant stuti come over and be ready Uh, yes i am here oh uh, am i visible suti just hold on we'll be just wait for the green card to come from navin's for the completion of 1 minute okay thank you navin a uh, second evaluator our second evaluator for the smock contest is stuti stuti you can start after checking your your voice yes um, we yes. can see you yes and um, am you're audible? audible as well so you and there's yes, no lag right stuti and you can visible No. There's no lag. Okay. Yeah. Okay. With a show of hands, how many of you here couldn't help but reminisce your own pre-corona holidays? Toastmaster Vishwajit's speech definitely got me itch itching to immediately pack my bags and board the next flight for a vacation. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I have always believed that a great story is one that's based on personal experience. Toastmaster Vishwaja perfectly seasoned her speech with her own personal anecdote about her own trip. This made her content very relatable and it helped build a connect with the audience. Before I proceed, Toastmaster Vishwaja, I must ask you Are you from Hogwarts? Because you sure are a word wizard. Your words help beautifully paint a picture of your travel, and all of us here felt like we were with you on your trip. I especially liked when you used the phrase "phrase bright-eyed and bushy-tailed." Toastmaster Vishwaja also maintained amazing eye contact. she looked straight into the camera while she was speaking and i've always believed that one of the oldest tricks in the book for an effective as an or an effective medium of communication is eye contact be it in a public speaking forum or be it in a personal one to one conversation toastmaster vishwaja also used pauses like when she said 
I was phew, exhausted. And she also demonstrated excellent use of stage space, especially when we when she zoomed into the camera and said, quick fact about me. As far as recommendations go, I have two. First, voice modulation. Toastmaster Vishwaja could have used a little bit more voice modulation. For example, when she said, with each step, my breath became heavy and my feet hurt, she could have said it like this. With each step, my breath became heavy and my feet hurt. Or even when she was um, talking about her mother or the tour guide, she could have modulated her voice to demarcate between herself and those speakers. Her message was a very clear one, but I would also encourage her to reiterate her title more during the course of her speech. That would help in better reinforcement of her key message. I would like to conclude by making an analogy to pizza. A pizza on its own is perfectly delicious. Just like Toastmaster Vishwaja's speech was perfect the way it was, with her perfect use of space, her perfect pauses, and her own personal story, it made it very interesting to listen to. With just a little more, bit more voice modulation and more reinforcement of the message, I'm sure she is sort of unmatched heights. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Stuti. Uh, please give her a round of applause and let's have one minute silence for the judges to mark their ballots. Um, hello. Just wait, Aditi. I'll I'll get to you. Thank you, Naveen. Our next evaluator for this evening's contest is Aditi. Aditi, you can begin. Am I course. audible? Yes, you are. Am I audible and visible? Yes, Aditi, you can start now. Okay. Um, as Kathy Freston once said, in the middle of it all, pause and look around you. Appreciate what's beautiful. Take in the love. Nod to what's good and true, and then move on, one step at a time. My speaker, TM Vishwaja, conveyed this message beautifully in her speech. As the title said, the snails wait. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, TMOD, and dear guests. To begin, my speaker had a flow of motion in her speech. I felt I couldn't have relate to the little girl trying to climb the steps anymore. She made connection with the audience with lines like all the photographers and travelers can relate. There was a use of proper crop, proper prop, like the way she used the blue hat. She looked like an actual traveler in that. Her, her storytelling and, uh, and voice modulation was amazing. She had dramatic skills in her speech. Her body language was also apt. With that, she was also connecting to the audience and her speech felt like a roller coaster ride to all of us. To make the speech more effective, I have few suggestions and recommendations. Uh, you could have start, like you can start the, uh, the speech with more phrases and quotes, quotes which gives the gist of what you're gonna speak, just to connect with the audience more and to let the audience know more about what is the speech about. To summarize, TM Vistrita had, had an amazing speech. 
she conveyed her message beautifully her main message was one step at a time and with her speech she conveyed a story and which lead to that message conveying in a proper manner she also uh, connected to the audience and also her body language and the uh, and the storytelling skills could not have been more apt with few, with the recommendation of uh, of using more quotes in the beginning and giving the gist of what you're going to speak you can she can achieve great heights thank you thank you so much tuti and uh... can we have one minute a silence for the judges to mark their ballots Thank you Navin our fourth evaluator today for the contest is Vishwesh Vishwesh please check whether you are audible am i you audible visible yes you are audible and visible as well you can start now Toast master Vishwaja your speech the snail's way was completely enchanting the traveler and photographer in me was woken up and i was waiting to know what you were about to share the topic itself made sure that i heard that i heard you with intent till the very end it was a very beautifully structured speech right from the beginning till the end you've made sure that you added humor multiple times just to make sure that all of us in the room were in all smiles i personally have a liking for the play of words so every time you rhymed your way in with relish and cherish or click away and take away it was just something that uh, you know caught to my attention the clarity in your speech made sure that made sure that every point of yours was well heard your movement within the room or taking over that space from one end to the other while walking across made sure how confident you are you portrayed how you were very comfortable with the space you were in the hand gestures that you moved your hand gestures or your expressions made sure that that you were talking to the crowd and conveying what you really wanted to say you were very comfortable this comfort was probably shown by the way you were taking pauses while speaking at the points that mattered and not and not jittery about what you wanted to say when it came to the speech i think the the way in which you were trying to explain the whole flow or the structure right from uh, why you were frustrated or you know moving from your engineering time to wanting a vacation then not getting that vacation in switzerland but well humpy is no less and then finally talking about your whole movement move from having that task of 750 stairs making your way up and relating to what you finally wanted to say i think all of it was structured really well just a small point which would make your speech even better would be the moral of the speech which you wanted to talk about or where you you brought out that is 
you brought out the essential issue right towards the end you could have brought it brought it out slightly earlier or spoken spoken on it a little more just to make sure that it was uh, it was heard more clearly or that was that that was what you wanted to talk about all in all i think it was a great speech and we would like to hear more more of it in the future thank you thank you so much vishwesh and uh, let's have one minute of silence for the judges to mark the ballot am i audible yes can you just wait yeah Thank you, Naveen. Our fifth contestant for this mock contest is Toastmaster Tanya. Tanya, can you check whether you're audible? Am I audible? Yes, yes. and you're visible as well, so you can start. I want to quote saying that nothing worth having comes easy. It requires a lot of determination, consistency, and persistence. a very good evening to fellow toastmasters chief judge and esteemed guests present here and toastmaster vishwaja in particular toastmaster vishwaja first and foremost i want to congratulate you for guiding the audience in a very holistic way what took me to the next level was the brilliant conceptualization of your speech and what a beautiful message of relevance that you brought together never give up I have some highlights. Well, the first one is you had good delivery quotient, transition quotient, and also an entertainment quotient. Your delivery was on point. You had good facial expressions throughout your speech, and you had good points to support those examples as well. What I really liked was the character switch that you had from your parents, yourself, and the tour guide. and let me tell you i've learned some new words as well you did wonderful use of storytelling and dialogues and the quick switch between emotions like happy and then sad was brilliant just like uh, every coin has a flip we in toastmasters believe that there's always a room for improvement but sadly i don't have any because i tried myself hard to find if i could recommend some suggestion because you had a very brilliant speech let me tell you lastly i want to conclude saying that you have created value for all of us as listeners and for me in particular over to you toastmaster of the day thank you so much tanya for your evaluation we'll take one minutes silence for the judges to mark the ballots
Thank you, Naveen. Our sixth contestant for the evaluation mock contest today is Gayatri. Gayatri, can you check whether you can be heard? Yes. Yeah. Because Am we I can see you. Yes, uh, you audible. Okay. You can start, Gayatri. Thank you, sir. A very good evening, fellow Toastmaster, guests, and my dear speaker, Vishwaja. Your speech today was fun. It was relatable. And it was very easy to comprehend. And it's, it wasn't just easy, but giving a speech that is easy and effective is something that is a skill. And today you did it on point. It was also nostalgic because I don't know the last time when I traveled, but today with you, I went on a mini vacation to Humpy, which I am longing to go in real as well. In your speech, what I like the most is your hand gestures and the use of props. It was on point. Your movement of front and back and side to side when there was a dialogue was also very effective. It also made us aware of the different characters that were involved in your speech. The voice modulation were great as well. And there were a great amount of voice modulation, especially when there was a dialogue between you and your mother. The pauses were on point, especially when you, uh, it created that sound of loved up pause and then loved up again. It was almost, it could, it felt like that heart was really pumping. Overall, your speech was well structured. The transition was very smooth. And, and uh, what I like the most is the beginning and the body. The beginning when you started with, I want a vacation. It's something that I wanted to, and at that point, I was hooked on to your speech. Slowly, slowly, as the speech went ahead, the, it was almost like a pictorial image, like a pictorial imagination. The way you described Humpy and your research while you went there was very relatable. While you watched the sunset, I mean, the sunrise, and while you waited, and you're, as, as in how you were moving, rising up the mountain and going to watch the sunrise, your speech also kept going high and high and high. While you waited for the sunrise, I waited eagerly to know what was the actual message. And slowly but surely, you gave us a very, very strong message in the end while you concluded. It was not just one, but a lot of small, small things that your speech today had to give as a life lesson to us. And it was very apt in the way you structured it with an easy body and a very important and a meaningful end. All in all, I feel that it was a great speech. Just a one, I have just one recommendation for you. That is, the topic was a snail's way. I just kept wondering, where was the snail? Uh, do you, like, I just felt that if we could have a little, like, if there would be more metaphors that, you know, could have related to the snail with your overall body of the, of the speech, then uh, there would be a little bit of a connection. Of course, you said it in the end, and it was absolutely 100% connected. But I just kept looking for the snail as you were transitioning into the speech. But overall, it was great. And to just summarize, I felt that this was a great speech, a lot of motivation, extremely picturesque and relatable. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Gayatri. Can we have one minute silence? for the judges to mark their ballots.
Yes, Sumesh, I'm timing it outside, so you can yeah. go ahead. I will tell you when it is done. Okay. Uh, if I may ask, was Gayatri able to see the timer's card? Because suddenly I was not able to see it. And, and it had gone off, but uh, she is within time. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, fine. Fine, good. Shall I start? Wait, uh, Nelly. I'll give you the signal. Yeah, Umesh, you can. Thank you so much, Naveen. And uh, our seventh contestant for the evaluation mock contest tonight is Nelly. Nelly, can you say a few words to see whether you are audible to hear you? Yes, uh, DTM, uh, DTM Umesh. Uh, am I audible, visible? Yes, you are. And you're visible as well. So you can start, Nelly. Greetings for the Toastmasters and guests. Cameras, light, and action. And here goes my speaker, TM Vishwaja. Today, I, as I was evaluating her speech, I felt she was a thanksing of Toastmasters. Trust me, each and every word made a lot of sense and had a lot of English and meaning to it. She started her speech the snail way with her journey from engineering to her vacation to Humpy and her jolly good rides here and across with respect to food, relishing her food, um, pictures to cherish and everything which was like so perfect that even her voice modulation, eye contact expressions was so perfect that I had no chance to make any negative comments. Speaking of uh, her speech, let me muster the courage to give some suggestions as well as ex uh, certain suggestions where she requires recommendations. Firstly, I would say that if I could challenge Vishwaja, I would challenge her by telling her to use some more usage of taglines. Like for example, she uses the words, click away, tick away, and she could have used the snail way. So in this fashion, she could have used a lot of taglines during her speech. Respect to her uh, speech formation and transition, it was perfect. There was a nice flow to her speech where she began with her journey from engineering, her vacation to Humpy, her memories, her jolly good rides, her photograph passion to photography, and the way she climbed the steps and her hurdles in climbing the steps, even with relationships, in respect to um, uh, relationships and the actual physical hurdles to reaching her goal to reach the top of the world. She had many usage of metaphors, idioms, which I would mention like slow and steady wins the race. As a whole, it was a speech to really listen and cherish like as she has mentioned in her speech, which she, she ended up by saying, food to relish, picture to cherish, a speech definitely valid and a valid to cherish. With this, I would end my evaluation. All the best uh, Toastmaster Vishwaja, it was really, a well-said a speech. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nelly. Uh, can we have one minute silence for the judges to mark ballots? We have two more evaluators to go.
there are speakers who speak from heart wait 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 puja wait for for my signal thank you so much navin our penultimate contestant is puja puja we we can hear you and we can see you you can start your evaluation thank you to us master of the day there are speakers who speak from the heart and few who speak from their mind good evening fellow toastmasters guest and my test speaker toastmaster vishwaja one step at a time let's go the snail's way with my today's evaluation too your speech had incredible suspense drama acting and delivery this took my heart away the story which you narrated had a beautiful imaginations which you created on your own you told us in such a way that the place hampi looked so beautiful the portrait what you did of each and every gestures eye contact the acting was beautifully done you carried the props along with you you had the camera the scarf and the hat which you started with which was also required for a journey to take along your experience with the hampi was a beautiful one one which you delivered it very perfectly you had the calmness in your voice the vocabulary which you used like rich and witty apprehensive was very well told and which we could get connected to a message well felt which you made me realize and i hope the audience realize that in fast moving world we have to be a little slow and steady if we want to achieve our goals so just a suggestion is like you sometimes come a little more extra close to the camera you need to be behind with that particular posture and the poise overall you had a very beautiful yet beautiful and a simple story to tell us with your experiences your the reaching about the destinations and you gave us a powerful message to you were well organized eye contacts the delivery everything was well in place i should say and recommend only things which i told you you can take that along and i choose to go the snails way to thank you thank you so much pooja and we will take a minute silence before we call upon the last in today's contest So do I do I start? Wait, uh, Kavya. Okay. Thank you so much, Naveen. Our last contestant. for this mock contest this evening kavya kavya can you say a few words can i start yes you can okay. you audible so you can start 
Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, guests, and speaker, Toastmaster Vishwaja. It is said that the number one fear out there is public speaking. And the fact that you give a speech in front of such a huge virtual audience itself makes you a winner. Your speech today was beautiful. We could see that you were really enthusiastic about travel. You began really well. And the good start made us really interested to know what you're going to speak. You managed to take us from where we are to where you wanted us to be, that is Humpy. It was very impressive how you made use of your body language and pauses to bring the story to life. For example, when you said 750 steps, you made use of actions to show the number of steps in front of you. And it really made us feel like, oh my God, this is a huge task. Notice how she described the sunrise with her expressions and voice modulation. It really felt like we were all watching the sunrise with you. And it felt like you transported us successfully to Humpy. In fact, it reminded me of my college trip to Humpy. The most impressive part of your speech, according to me, was how you managed to bring out a message at the end of your speech. So you tried to tell us about happiness and love after the entire story that you told us. In my opinion, two things that you could keep in mind. The first one was, you told us about your ideal vacation. You told us how Switzerland was where you wanted to go. And then you suddenly shifted to Humpy and how it was nice. Maybe if the shift was a little more smoother, we could understand the contrast better. The contrast of what you expected, what you got, and how you enjoyed it nevertheless. The second thing is you used objects in your speech to make it more effective. And it did. But you used two, three objectives, the objects, the same thing twice in the first part of your speech itself. If you could probably just space it out, it would be better. Because I felt it was a little distracting, at least for me. And to summarize, your speech was beautiful. I enjoyed your storytelling process. And they say all good things have to come to an end. And that's exactly how I felt at the end of the speech. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Kavya. We have now finished the entire contest. Can we have a round of applause for all the contestants, nine of them today, who had a first-hand experience of a contest? We'll take three minutes silence now uh, for the judges to not only mark their ballots, but for the tally counters to take it across to the chief judge to finally collate all the results. So we'll take three minutes, in, so can you start the time? Meanwhile, can I call upon Vishwaja on stage? Can you spot Vishwaja? Master, can you spotlight Vishwaja? Vishwaja, many congratulations for an excellent speech. How did you feel? about making a test speech this evening. I, I suppose this is your first test speech or a, as a test speaker. Thank you so much, Didiya Mumesh. Yeah, it is my first time as a test speaker. And to be honest, I was more nervous than when I deliver a speech in an unusual meeting. It's because now you have the same evaluation multiplied by nine. So nine evaluators, Critically waiting to think or uh, you know observe you and pick out your uh, faults or something to suggest as an improvement. So it was a great experience, and I would suggest everyone to become a test speaker at least once. So that thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, Vishwaja. How has your Toastmaster journey been so far? It is almost a year and. This journey was truly life altering. I've seen many personality improvements in myself, and 
overall made good friends and had a really good time at his masters thank you so much ja and sir tor if you are there can we have vishwaja certificate of our appreciation i don't know whether vishwaja expected this but we do have a certificate for you vishwaja Uh, no, I did not expect this. Two minutes now. We have, we have still. Uh, can you give me two time. minutes, Umesh? For this. Yeah. And uh, Vishwaya, uh, would you be able to get a few friends over to join Toastmasters? I'm working on it. Good. That's good. Uh, I had earlier recommended that you bring your parents along to Toastmasters. So that that is still there. so give us give vishwaja a round of applause it's a nice certificate from the icc toastmasters club to our test speaker today so many congratulations vishwaja for a well delivered speech thank you so much uh, navin have we completed the 3 minutes Naveen, have we completed the three minutes? Yes, Umesh. Let's. Thank you so much, uh, uh, contestants, judges, the chief judge, for an excellent contest this evening. I want to quickly go on to the next segment, which is the table topic segment, and uh, we have an expert uh, doing this segment for us this evening, DTM Ragunada, uh, DTM Ragu, as I would. affectionately call him is a passionate toastmaster because he is a member of four clubs on their excom has been conferred the distinguished toastmaster award in just one year and nine months so is a great motivation is a uh, this is a great motivation for all young masters you can complete a dtm within two years if you have the passion of Uh, DTM Raghu DTM Raghu is also a coin collector and uh, believe me today you're going to have a very interesting table topic session so over to you DTM Raghu thank you very much uh, DTM Umesh for that lovely introduction and also in inviting me before i start can i ask how much time do we have in hand we are already running by 25 minutes late would love to know how much time we I have. Oh, give me a second. Uh, you you can take. I would say maximum ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So let's enjoy this in a different way. I would need someone. Yeah. Who is not going to nominate for this? Hello. Yeah, Hello, Akshay. Yeah. Great Akshay, thank you very much for nominating Toastmaster Akshay. Yes. This is like I have a remote in my hand, and as soon as I say switch, you need to talk in the opposite direction. For example, let us say if I give a topic and say start talking, you should talk on the floor. As soon as I switch, you have to talk in the opposite direction. Great. Do you, you understand? Thank yes, you very much. First, I have to say, I have to say for, then I have to say against, right? Yeah, and uh, and then switch. You you go back. As soon as I say keep saying switch, just shift, keep shifting. Ah, uh, miss, you are going to say switch, right? For that, right. right. Uh, okay. okay. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Akshay. I love Toastmasters meeting, Toastmaster Akshay. I love Toastmasters meeting. Once a Toastmaster. is always a toastmaster yes that's true i love to attend every meetings of the toastmasters because i learn many things from toastmasters especially the public speaking and how to make friendship and how to take part for the contest like humor speech contest evaluation contest we have table topic contest and we have international speech contest 
What is the meaning of this Toastmasters? It's a waste of time. Although it's better to study, you know. Why do you have to attend meetings? It will make any sense. The examiner will ask questions related to Toastmasters or he will going to ask about novels. Why do you have to attend a meeting of Toastmasters? It's just a waste of time. It's better that we have to study Wait. and I learned many things from Toastmasters and I attended many meetings, especially from other districts. That's why I was crowned as the traveling Toastmaster award in November, 2020. That's why I'm excited to be a part of a Toastmasters meeting. Although I won award, but what the award will make, it will make any sense. If I'm a traveling postmaster, so the professors will ask, show me traveling postmaster award. Why it is useful for me? This postmasters, I have to do good, but I have to study. Over to you, Jyoti Am Raghu. Thank you very much. How much time I come I only don't know. Two minutes, six seconds. You're in the time. Great. Great job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Who is going next? Santil, you want to go? Yes, DTM Rahu. Great. Fine. Somebody just gave a speech. Just as bad speaker as I am. And you need to evaluate a speech. Okay, he has given a very bad speech today. And you are a speech evaluator today. So first, just like Akshay, it will be a switch here again. You are giving evaluation to motivate. And then as soon as a switch, you have to start, <laughs> start saying that you are worst speaker, something like that, okay? Sure. Great. <clears throat> Toastmasters Center, evaluate, evaluate, Toastmasters Center. Thank you, Table Topics Master, fellow Toastmasters, guest, Toastmaster of the day, the president of the club, and my dear speaker. What a wonderful speech it was. As a first time speaker, you gave a superb icebreaker speech. We all here, never felt that you are giving a speech for the first time. I believe you are putting a lot of effort to make this speech as beautiful. My speaker, this speech could have been done better. I think you have not put in any efforts for the speech. Please remember, all the audience come here to listen to a speaker to get something out of you. Please don't come here and just file all our time. Switch. Speaker, you've, you can improve better, even though you've not prepared it well now, but you can do it much better as you move forward. Please don't take it as a criticism, but take it as a positive Switch. criticism. You, you, can do better, but I think the way, the laxity of your attitude in your speech is not arguing well to the atmosphere that you are coming. Those masters have to be taken seriously. Yes, it is all about fun. People are here to help you, but the, we can only take hearts to the pond. The horse has to drink by itself. We are all here to help you. We are all here to motivate you. Speak up. Overall, it's fantastic. There are some improvements, but we all believe that you can do better. Thank you. Over to you, Deputy Mr. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I wonder, did you, do you ever raise your voice and scold anyone in the life? <laughs> You're so down to earth and always gentle. Thank you very much. Who's going next?
हेलो या डीटीएम रघु टोस्ट मास्टर पूर्वा हियर आई वुड लाइक टू गो नेक्स्ट ग्रेट थैंक यू टोस्ट मास्टर पूर्वा इफ एन एप्पल अ डे कीप्स डॉक्टर अवे व्हाई डू वी नीड डॉक्टर्स इफ एन एप्पल अ डे कीप्स डॉक्टर अवे व्हाई डू वी नीड डॉक्टर्स टोस्ट मास्टर पूर्वा yeah just wanted to check so if an apple a day keeps a doctor away so i need to speak in for that you know yeah just just for the topic now there is no speech acha there is no speech okay so an apple a day keeps a doctor away so why do we need doctors what about ttm raghu what about people like me who don't like apples at all these are the people who need doctors who do need doctors to rescue them i mean there are people all o- over the world who are uh, who just madly love apples they would eat an apple every day every every other day and still fall ill so clearly apple might not always do the job of rescue rescuing you from ill health this is where we need doctors Take the example of Corona. There might be people who would eat uh, uh, healthy all the time, but still they are contracted with the vi- with the vi- virus. Now, what can the apple do for them? There is nothing the apple can do. Here is where this is where we need doctors. So, doctors are the one who can ultimately rescue us from any of the problems. And basically, for all the ha- apple haters out there like me. i i would like to say them this thing that yeah there is not just this one apple i mean who has created this statement that an apple a day keeps a doctor away he really did not consider the emotions and feelings of other fruit lovers other than apple lovers i mean you need to consider everyone's opinion this is not done and uh, basically so this is all that i wanted to say that uh, okay but it's not just the apple but other uh other fruits and vegetables that we can eat to keep us healthy and apart from apple we have doctors and doctors will always be the ones who would ultimately rescue when no apple could do that so yeah thank you and over i'm with you toastmaster purva and i take apple i love mango thank you very much at least someone who coincides with me next the last topic for the day is a uh, and i have a nomination from chat mansi ayer mansi ayer are you yes. a toastmaster or a guest i am a toastmaster great toastmaster mansi the topic is if necessity is the mother of invention who is the father if necessity is the mother of invention who is the father toastmaster mansi if necessity is the mother of inventions i think the uh, the father would be crime because when you uh, when you need something uh, that time you start finding out ways on how you can uh, get it you start uh, finding different ways so this is how inventions have come into being right from primitive age but then after certain necessities have got satisfied people are not happy they still want something more and when they when they want exceeds their needs that is when they become greedy and then they turn to unethical means of obtaining what they want so that is when crime or unethical behavior comes into picture so i would say if necessity is the mother of inventions i think crime is the father of uh, finding inventions in that way the unethical way of inventing new things like uh, finding a machine that will uh, that can scam the atm and getting out the money or find uh, or if invention is a way of making the lock and key the uh, the father that is the crime way will be how to break that lock so i think if uh, inventions is the if see i'm forgetting the what you had said <laughs> the if the mother of inventions then crime is the father if necessity is the mother of inventions then for the crime then father father is crime <laughs> thank you
Thank you very much, Toshman Mansi. The same topic, everybody has their own take. Somebody said laziness is the father. Somebody said procrastination. Somebody said different things. It's all up to our imagination. But you had a great take, the crying as a father. Thank you very much. I really loved this session today. I would call timer of the day to check if everybody qualified for voting. All the, spe all the table topic speakers have qualified today. The speakers were Akshay, Senthil, Purva, and then Mansi. Four speakers. Thank All have qualified. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much, uh, DTM Raghu. We have to quickly go on to our general sure. evaluation segment. And our general evaluator today is DTM Mukta. Mukta needs no is the director elect. So can I call upon Mukta to do the honors of being our general evaluator this evening. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the Day, Umesh. It's wonderful to be here for the meeting. And um, as the general evaluator, I have observed the entire meeting from start up to this point. And I will go very briefly into evaluation of the role players, but today I would like to devote and dedicate a little more time to our wonderful, wonderful evaluators. Most of them have done evaluation for the very first time and others just once before. So it's extremely commendable that they even got into a contest today having not previously done evaluation. So I know that they paid special, special attention to Nikhil's training, absorbed it so quickly and delivered excellent evaluation. So evaluators, I'm gonna come back to you in a minute, but let me just give you a general evaluation of the whole meeting. It started bang on time. Thank you, Stuti. It was a superb introduction. You have a very pleasant way of delivering and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Our presiding officer, Niru, was so welcoming, so warm and welcoming to everybody and she also gave a little idea of what the meeting was going to be about. Toastmaster Umesh, uh, Toastmaster of the day, you are absolutely brilliant. I love the style. I love the warmth that you have for everybody, every single person in the meeting. There is so much to learn from you. An excellently conducted meeting. Thank you so much. Nikhil is not here. However, I just like to comment on his training. All I can say, it is so soothing to listen to Nikhil. He speaks smoothly. It's almost as smooth as silk. Calm and patient. And I have also taken a lot of notes about how I could be a better evaluator. Table Topics Master Raghu is is always prepared at a meeting. He never comes unprepared. He has um, wonderful, uh, a wonderful choice of topics. And today, once again, Raghu, you were excellent. Naveen, you gave a detailed account of your timers report. You have been very patient. We never uh, generally appreciate a timer and how much work there is and how much patience one requires. And you too have done a wonderful job. Somebody that one never recognized, who is almost the invisible person in a meeting is the Zoom master. And Sertorio, I would like to recognize and appreciate your work today in holding this whole meeting, uh, opening the meeting, and um, you, you will be the last person out of this room when you close that meeting. So thank you so much for your efforts. Our test speaker, Vishwaja, I too have been bold by your speech. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I've never been too humpy, but believe you me, I am looking forward to making a trip there. So thank you so much for your speech. Now I'd like to compliment, compliment all nine evaluators today. 
You truly were magnificent and you could be part of any contest anywhere at area division and even district level. You were so good today. Let me go one by one uh, very briefly, maybe for 30 seconds or 20 seconds each. Shantanu today, your vocabulary and the way you expressed and complimented the speaker was absolutely magical. I would like to say that every evaluator knew how to use the CRC method, the complimenting, the commending, then the recommendations, and then ending with uh, a summary of what was good and what was what could be done better. And each one of you really uh, followed the rule of CRC in this evaluation. So Shantanu, uh, wonderful. I loved the way you said you, um, you had sweet moments and you were left wanting for more. What a wonderful way to compliment the speaker. And then you gave uh, a certain recommendations, which I'm going to list out all at the end. I'm not going to talk about each person's recommendations, but I will just list them out so that it will be useful to all of us here as to what are the recommendations that were given to the speaker and do we need to use them in our speeches. I have one recommendation for you, Shantanu. When you are speaking, especially in this online platform and you're seated in one place, you have a lot of rocking movement. So stay steady, stay stable, and that will, we will be able to see your face better and hear your voice better. Otherwise, it's a bit of a distraction for the audience, but I, I truly enjoyed your evaluation today. Stuti, now just listen, every evaluator today has had a unique way of opening the evaluation. So Shantanu was complimentary. Now Stuti began her evaluation with a question which is a great technique. And she says, how many of you reminisced about your own vacation? So very well started Stuti. Uh, Stuti you too uh, spoke, uh, highlighted the speaker's speech and gave recommendations. And I have none for you. Uh, it was wonderful to listen to you. Well-paced, uh, slow, deliberate evaluation. Great job. Aditi, now look at her way of opening the evaluation. She herself started with a quotation. So that is uh, uh, superb, very uh, commendable to do that. And what I liked is her small observations, the little hat. And she says that this is a, a wonderful prop to use when one is traveling. One suggestion for you, is that maybe you could have offered one additional suggestion to the speaker. You just spoke about the use of quotes. Maybe you could have found something else to uh, co uh, comment or recommend. Our fourth evaluator, Vishwesh, he connected with the speaker straight away. He said that he too was a traveler and a photographer and therefore enjoyed the speech. So I loved the way that you connected your own self with the speaker. That's a great way of doing it. You complimented the speaker on humor and I too enjoyed the humor. Actually, I was uh, all smiles during the speech. So I'm glad you caught that humor bit in your uh, compliments and um, commendations. I have one suggestion for you and that is that you went on for a very long time with the commendations and then you had to rush a little bit at the end. Our fifth speaker, Tanya, uh, you spoke about the speech guiding us in a holistic way. And I think you might have been the first speaker who actually addressed the test speaker, uh, Vishwaja, which is a wonderful thing to do. And subsequently other um, evaluators did uh, mention Vishwaja, but I think you probably were the first one to do that. Um, you compliment, you gave the speaker a wonderful compliment and said today she has created value 
value for the listener. Well done, Tanya. Our sixth evaluator was Gayatri. Uh, she also, uh, each one has really been very, very encouraging to the speaker because uh, the speaker was truly ma magnificent today. And Gayatri uh, used a lot of compliment. And there were so many po uh, positives. I think you probably uh, were too long in the compliments and then couldn't really uh, come to the recommendations and the conclusions um, in good time. So one uh, trick is to make sure that all your commendation ends well before the green light or at least at the green light so that between the green and yellow and red you have time for recommendations and then you can summarize uh, quickly at the end. Our seventh uh, evaluator Nelly uh, I liked her opening as well. Today, all the openings of the evaluators have been fabulous. She says, greetings to us masters. And then she went, cameras, lights, action. So that was a wonderful thing, uh, a great technique. Now, Nelly, you had a recommendation for the speaker and you said, I wish you could use the taglines more. And after you gave a recommendation, you went back to uh, complimenting the speaker. So there was a little bit of a mix up. So if you can keep each part separately, maybe there would be a little more clarity. So one shouldn't mix up the positives and negatives because then it doesn't uh, come across very clearly for the test speaker. But well done, Nelly. I loved your language and I loved uh, uh, how you told the speaker uh, that the gestures, etc., were excellent. Our eighth speaker, Pooja, uh, you told the speaker how calm, slow, and composed the speaker was. Uh, again, very, very uh, elaborate in the compliments. And then you said that the speaker came too close to the camera and maybe should have moved back further. That was an excellent uh, recommendation. Uh, you highlighted, and this is what Nikhil was talking about, that the small observations is what makes you, sets you apart as an evaluator. And you complimented the speaker on the three props that were used, the camera, the hat, and the scarf, which were all so appropriate for the topic that the speaker had used. And finally, Kavya, uh, uh, you spoke about the number one fear being of public speaking, but today's speaker had absolutely no, no fear, which is uh, so true. And uh, you mentioned that there should be a space or a pause between the uh, props that were being used. And if that were, it would have been more useful. Um, th there is so much when you're evaluating nine speakers to talk about, but I hope I have done uh, justice to each one of you. I have loved, loved, loved all of your evaluations today. I was actually really amazed at how good each one of you were. It just shows your enthusiasm, your love for the movement, love for learning, and I wish each one of you every success. I thank Kajanan for having invited me here today. It's been my absolute pleasure to be a part of this ICG meeting, which has been really unique, a one of a kind, and I would like to spread that to other clubs as well. Thank you, and back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you so much, uh, DTM Mukta. I, she deserves a round of applause. She's on to another meeting at 9.30, so that's why I rushed uh, the entire proceedings. So give her a round of applause. Yes. She you. deserves our love and affection, and we are with you, Mukta, on your Thank you. journey as district director. Thank so you, and kindly best. excuse me if I leave you. Right. Uh, just Thank one you. second, if I may request you, Mukta, just be there for a click. Zoom master, can we have a picture? I would like to request all of you yes. to please switch on your videos. And please look yeah. at the camera. Everyone, please uh, switch on your videos. And you'll have to 
hurt your cheeks a little bit there's a big crowd so freeze your smile okay 1 2 3 smile freeze Can we say thanks, Sartorio? No. Thank you, Sartorio. Please. Thank you so much, Sartorio. I think. Uh, Thank you. you. You take revenge Bye -bye. on me for this, for all my past uh, shortcomings by this freeze that you keep on for a long time. So thank you so much. Thank you, Mukta. You you may please proceed. We loved having you there. Thank you. Thank you so much. My, I'm going to quickly hand over charge to the president of the evening. That is. Uh, Neeru, who's going to have her penultimate meeting, so she's got one meeting more. So I would hand over charge to Neeru to finish off rather quickly the rest of the proceedings. Thank you so much, Ditya Mumesh. It was overall a fabulous, fabulous meeting. I think it was as I was expecting it to be. A total package of fun, knowledge. and a showcase of all the talents we have with us with that uh, as we are running short of time i'll just like to go ahead uh, with the results for the table topics can we have the poll So, master, do you have the results with you with for this? Yes. Okay. Uh, can you declare the results of the contest? Uh, one second. In the meantime. Uh, i thank you all for being here i can see many people from other clubs and uh, is there any guest in the room i would like to have your opinions about our meeting if there is some guest okay if no guest then uh, toastmaster varun from siemens club if you could unmute yourself Uh, hey Toshmasa yes. Niru. Hi, good evening. Am How I you? visible, audible? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm good. I'm as, good. Hi. As usual, your opinion about the meeting? Well, it was a fantastic meeting. I really loved the idea of having uh, new Toshmasas come in and give in the evaluation, and as if it's a contest. And uh, that was really nice to see, and uh, really good evaluations by each and every one. Uh, the initial. Uh, the the discussion on the evaluations how to give evaluations from a dtm that was also very fascinating and uh, the table topics were just a blast so overall it was a really nice meeting many things to learn from and that's always the case with an icg meeting it's thank always you. fun to be here yeah. it's always fun to have you here that is the thing <laughs> thank you uh, our table topic master for today dtm ragunanda do you have any suggestion for us I think he's not in the room. Uh, Zoom master Satorio, do we have the results yes. ready? Yes. Please announce the results for the contest, the mock contest. Uh, I'll go with the table topic contest okay, first. Okay, fine. Yeah. Uh, so for the table topic speaker, someone who is always with us in ICG, and he was pretty good in changing colors and switching. Between being a non uh, toastmaster and a non toastmaster, toastmaster Akshay Bangal. Congratulations, Akshay. I think he's left. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
means a lot yes. okay you're there okay okay so for the winners everybody please unmute and you can be your true selves and cheer whistle do whatever so the third place winner for the mock evaluation contest it's a little dynamite from icg those master puja kunde congratulations congratulations thank you thank congratulations you. puja i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> oh. happy also thank you for the second place winner we have to wait for a for a long time but as every good husband knows for a right person you have to wait for a long time and we waited for a long time but it was well worth the wait the second place goes to most was the kavya congratulations and now the champion this girl reminds me of the power puff girls you know she looks sweet and all bubbly but she packs a punch the first place winner in the mock contest goes to toast master stuti <laughs> congratulations thank you so icg was supposed to be a all women uh, club and all women win <laughs> All the, all the prizes. Okay. Over to you. Thank you so best. much, Zoom Master. And with this, I think uh, I would like to end by saying thanks once again. And special announcement again: I would like you all to attend our 200th meeting, which is on the 24th of uh, this month. And for that, we have chosen two dynamites as the Toastmasters of the day, and they are Toastmaster Sartorio. and toast master vishwaja they have a special invite for you all we share that toast master satorio there seems to be some trouble uh, you know but i will just fix it anyway okay no problem so another announcement is that uh, i had uh, called for the nominations for next excom uh, we had put four messages in the group for nominations and the last date was declared as fourth i have received single nominations for all the posts therefore there will be no elections and i shall declare the next excom in my last meeting which will be on 24th on 24th of this month the present excom of icg toast masters will announce the name for the next excom and from june uh, july 1st meeting we'll be handing over to the next excom Satoria is the problem sorted or should we say goodbye good night okay the invite is there yeah it's sort of a work around most people but to build a legacy you need to take your first step february 2013 dtm farida dtm umesh and a few like minded toastmasters took their first step and formed icg toastmasters club february 2020 I took my first step at this beautiful place and started with my Toastmasters journey. Self-doubt, fear, curiosity, 
fashion in top gear. That was me when I came here. What happened next is a story I'm sure you would love to hear. Lesophobia, the fear of public speaking. It is known as one of the most dreaded fears known to men. I too have suffered from this fear for a very long time. But on the 5th of October 2019, I decided to do something about it. I took my very first step towards conquering this fear. I decided to join the ICG Postmasters Club. And as I walked through this beautiful path, most of you who have attended any Toastmaster meeting in ICG will be filled with nostalgia. But I got my heart pounding with every step I took. But as soon as I entered the doors of ICG, I discovered the wonderful world of Toastmasters. During the past eight years, this stage has created many dynamic speakers and leaders. Although we can't meet physically on this stage, let us recreate the magic online and celebrate our 200 meetings where we talk about the past, the present, and the future of the club. Join me, Toastmaster Sakoyo, and me, Toastmaster Vishwaja, on 24th June at 7 pm. We'll see you then. Thank you. So that's an invitation for all of you to join us on 24th. Good night for now. Thank you so much for joining in for today. Thanks a lot. Good night.